Boxing King Media in association with Box Road. Delighted to be joined by former IBF World Champion Special K, Kel Brook. Kel, how are you doing, man? I'm doing very well. Absolutely very well. It's great to see you. Uh, I know you've not done any media for a long, long time. In fact, I think the last time we did uh, media was in the gym, probably about six, five, six months ago, I think it was. Uh, obviously, a lot's happened since. Uh, and I first of all, I appreciate you uh, giving me your time today. Uh, back in the gym, feeling the groove? Feeling the, feeling the groove. Um, more jaws back. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying training. I'm enjoying the routine I put together every single day. And uh, I, will, I work towards that. Good man. I don't want to dwell, over, dwell on it too much, but I know your fans uh, will be keen to hear from you about, you know, the, the video that was released in the papers about you uh, a few months ago. You know, you came out, you made a statement uh, and you was open and honest about it all. Um, just tell me how difficult was it for you to just to come out with it and just tell the fans uh, about your struggles? You know, unbelievably dark places, you know, um, for a long time. I felt like a weight had lift, been lifted off my shoulders, you know, because as a fighter, you know, I keep things to me, to myself and, you know, the struggles I've had to deal with, you know, but the world knowing, you know, the struggles what I had to deal with, you know, and reaching out and getting the help that I needed, you know, I, I just feel, as we sit here now, I can't put into words that, you know, the guy who did it, you know, one day I'll uh, actually thank him, you know, because it's... I think God, God did this for a reason, and I'm on, on the up. Like I, I feel amazing, you know. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm not late. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to my schedule, I'm doing my gratitude list, and, and the list goes on. We are indulging too much into it, you know. All I can say is, I am on the mend. And, you know, when we spoke a few months prior to that, and one of the things that you said to me kind of stuck out to me because when I saw that video and I instantly remembered it straight away and your words were that since retirement you felt like you, you died inside. Um, and I think we spoke about it off camera as well, how a lot of fighters go through that struggle. And I know loads have come forward since and messaged you and I've seen tweets about it. Um, do you think it's highlighted that as well? And hopefully other fighters can take learning from that as well to kind of prepare for that moment when boxing's over. You got, it's not easy to just shut off, is it? It's not easy, you know. Um, not easy at all. Trainers and trainers and um, obviously train you to become world champion. Show you how to move your head. Showing you everything you need to lo learn to be champion of the world. But nobody prepares you, you know, for when you retire and the, and, and, and the career's over. I had to deal with life again, you know, because all I've ever done is boxed. You know, I lived. I, I live for this sport. You know, so, you know, like I said, I did feel lost. I felt, like I said on my last interview, I felt like dead. Like, what do I do now? What's my purpose? And I, I understand what my purpose is now. It's to help other people, you know, in, in, in the dark time that they have. You know, mental health is a big thing now. And, you know, um, I want to reach out to people who are low, you know, because it's, I won't, wait, I won't wish it on my worst enemy, the places where, my, where I've been, you know. It's absolutely horrific, you know. Um, but there's, there's an answer and there's a solution to, to, to enjoy life to the fullest. Definitely so. And then I remember there were a lot of interviews with people in boxing straight after that. And one of the things that stuck out to me was because I spoke to Eddie Hearn, I think he might have been in New York a week or so after. And his, his words were that Kel Brook uh, is a good person, has got a pure heart. Um, and that's been the common consensus amongst, amongst a lot of people. So it must make it give you a bit of pride that people have got a perception of you of being a good person and somebody with a pure heart. Yeah, I hope that I have. You know, I think I have. But yeah, the the message I were getting, you know, they were all positive. They were all, you know, feeling for me. You know, so because um, I were a bit unsure how, how people would take it, you know, but nothing but positiveness and. And when I walk out, you know, when I go to bed at night, I can't wait to wake up in the morning and uh, take, the, take, take the new day on, you know, uh, taking my girls to school and just being, being relevant, being there, being on time, not letting people down, reaching out to, to others who are down, you know, and, um, you know, that's, that gets me through a, through a day, one day at a time. Definitely so. And the, the last thing on, on this whole subject, any short bit of advice you can give to any fighters uh, preparing for retirement or any advice you can give them uh, regards to how you felt at that time that you, you felt, you know, the answer was drugs at the time, but now you've obviously found a, a solution to it all. Yeah, I think that, you know, I think that when you know that 
say if you don't know if you get an injury, a, a terrible injury, and you can't fight again. But if you know that you're going to come, you know, it's your last fight, you're coming to, to retire. Have something, have something in place, you know, open a gym, have something to to fall back on, you know, straight away, instead of just being stale, sat there with all the thoughts in your mind, not thinking, you know, I don't have to go to the gym at seven in the morning, I don't have to go back to the gym at four o'clock, have a massage, eat this, eat, eat, eat this clean, clean food, you know, uh, recover, you know, have things in place, you know, have positive people around you, don't be knocking about with the people and you know who they are, the usual suspects, you know, and doing, and doing, doing, doing the bad things. Um, you know, obviously, just do positive things. Be around, keep your keep your circle small. You know, and um, just go out there and just and just be and just be you. Go out there and obviously have a routine. You know, have a, have something what you you do every day. If it's going to the gym, if it's seeing your you know your grandparents or or or, or picking your kids up, dropping them off. You know, um, have a routine and stick to it. You know, so um, and that's that's all I can really say. Obviously. I'm still learning and new to this thing, but you know the the advice what I'm getting and the things I'm doing, you know that's what I, that's what I'm doing. I'm sticking to what's making me happy and, and having a routine and doing and doing doing the things I'm doing is 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 making my life and the colours so much brighter. Uh, I do love that, and I, I genuinely, I think you know, well done to you for turning your life around because I've seen it before, and I can imagine how difficult it is to be in that dark place and to come come back out of it. it it's a it's a it's a big thing in itself, and you've done that. So, uh, well done to you and the people around you that have helped you do that as well. Um, so, I want to speak to you about a couple of other things. Whilst you've been obviously away uh, recuperating, your name has been in the media constantly, getting linked to fights. Um, but before we get to the fight that we're talking about, I want to speak to you about. Uh, Conor Ben, obviously, he's the main name that's been put amongst you. Did you watch the interview with Piers Morgan uh, the other week? To be totally honest, I've not. I've not seen the interview. You know, I've not. I've not seen it. Uh, I've heard different things about it. You know, but I've. I've. I've yet to sit down and watch it. Uh, what do you make of the whole scenario? Um, obviously, we've now seen uh, Connor's main points of his defence are that the, the testing procedure wasn't handled properly. There's a lot of things that have been highlighted by him. Uh, the British Boxing Board have come out and said that they've accepted you know, some things that need to be changed in the process. We don't know what that is. Uh, and then the WBC have cleared him on, on paper saying um, they feel it might be due to a large consumption of eggs. Uh, but Connor's not accepting that. He's saying it was a flaw in the testing. Uh, obviously, as a boxer all your life you've been tested on Dom's told me you've been tested more than any boxes had in this gym uh, what do you make of it all based on all them uh, scenarios to be totally honest with you since you know you know the news break broke with me I've not had nothing to do with boxing I've just been co concentrating on myself getting myself right you know I've, I've not been I've not been really indulging into the boxing scene but you know I don't I don't know enough about it to actually comment you know on you know the samples and 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 the eggs and and everything else. You know, all I'm hearing is you know he failed the drug test. You know that that's all I'm hearing. So I can't really elaborate too much on this on this matter. That's a fair point, uh, Kel. I respect you for saying that. Uh, and then obviously the obvious question is all your fans. We've seen you back at the gym today, still looking sharp, and you're still looking like you've got the pop there. It's probably very early, but how realistic is it? You know, have you got the hunger? Could we potentially see you back in the ring? You know, I'm enjoying it, you know, I'm a keep fitter, you know what I mean, I'm in keep fitter, I'm retired, but, listen, I mean, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, and I think if I, if, if I carry on doing this, you know, once a fire, always a fire, you know, so, all I can say, you know, if, you know, uh, Connor's been putting a few things out there, you know, back and forth, me and him, so if, listen, I'm up, I'm up for discussion, if his boss, Eddie, wants to get in touch with me, you know, and uh, and pays me in my service, mega, mega. You know, I'll come out of retirement, baby. I'll come out of retirement and uh, and show you, and show you, boy, how to do it. Well, talking of that, Connor tweeted last time we tried to make this fight, uh, he chose retirement. It must have been that sparring session. Just talk to me about that sparring session. What do you remember from it? He knows what happened in that sparring session. You know, he's just he's trying to just prod and push it, man. You know, for a reaction. He knows exactly what happened. You know what happened in that sparring session. We're supposed to do 10 rounds. You know, he got out after eight rounds saying that his shoulder's hurting and this and that. 
because I was bringing the heat, and he, you know, he didn't want to be in that. He didn't want to be in that fryer. He, wanted, he didn't want to be in that fryer. He wanted to get out. So he knows what happened. Sims knows what happened. His trainer, you know, yeah, you know, my dad knows what happened. He was there. So listen, forget sparring. Forget all this. You get, you getting me excited here. Listen, Edda, come and see me. We'll have a discussion. Well, you replied saying, who are you kidding? You're the one who cut the sparring short. Don't flatter yourself, pussy. That's what you retweeted last night. Yeah, true. You know, listen, when so any day is just, I don't know if his fight with Pacquiao fall through or whatever's happening. He's just, he's prodding and picking at some fighters. I've seen some at women's spans. He's trying to come at me. Listen, you know, if, if, if it makes sense for me and I do get that mojo back, because at the minute I'm just a keep retired, keep fitter, you know, but I will get them gloves back out. I will put them boxing boots back on and we will dance as long as them Benjamins are right. Interesting stuff. I'm pretty sure the fans will be excited for that. Um, just to wrap up, any final message for Conor Ben and Eddie Hearn? Camera's yours. You tell them what you want to tell them. Listen, you know where I am. I'm in Sheffield. I think um, Eddie know, Eddie's got my number. That's all I'll say. Listen, if we sit down and I get excited, you've got to excite me. You've got to excite me, Eddie. To get, because I've got my slippers on now. I'll take my slippers off. I'll put my running shoes back on. And I'll show you all by what time it is. Interesting stuff. Uh, anything else you want to add, uh, Cloud for Let Eagle? Nothing to add. You know, I'm just going to get on with my day now. I'm, I'm positive. I'm excited. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to have a shower and talk to my beautiful mother. Good man, Kel. I wish you all the best and uh, whatever you decide to do in life. And uh, I think the fans are behind you with wh whatever you're, you're doing and uh, how your life is at the moment. So I uh, wish you all the best, man. Thank you. Thank you.